Good morning. So, as you can see by the thumbnail, we got a new company truck. And so this video, I'm just gonna be walking you through the new truck and the new setup and how we are planning on using this thing and uh, basically what it's all about. So you can hear it running in the background. I'll walk a little closer. You got any guesses? What does that sound like? If you guess the 7.3 Power Stroke Diesel, you're right. So we got the dump truck over here, the 95, which is the 7.3 Turbo Diesel. It was 95 and a half the year that they first started putting turbos in these trucks. And this is a 1999. So this truck was originally a 350, but then got specced out to a 450 with a custom frame, custom uh, undercarriage. It's got a Dana 80 front axle. So it got higher rated than what it was originally. A company up in Tennessee built it out. This is an F550. Big dog. Got the interior. We even got a little speaker system in here. So I got a crazy good deal on this truck from a buddy of mine who got into a slight accident with it and then bought a brand new truck. So this bumper didn't originally come on here. We put it on there because the original bumper was all mangled and this uh, quarter panel got all crunched in. That's why there's this gap right here. So we're gonna go to the junkyard this week and find a new quarter panel we saw that the junkyard our local junkyard have a couple of these uh older power strokes in there so we'll see if we can't find us a nice quarter panel to buy so right now the passenger door won't open because this quarter panel is actually jammed up in there that's really the only flaw uh the truck runs good whenever it warms up but cold start in this thing which we're in florida it's not like it's really a cold start it doesn't want to wake up in the morning so might have to work on an injector or two and figure those out but that's not too big of a deal the big thing about this truck was the utility bed on it the boxes and the bed is in great shape all the boxes open up nicely everything works as it should these little stairway this stairway right here is really nice i mean i don't see this too often on these utility beds the stairway walking right up the side of this thing we also got to wire these up these came with the truck but they're not wired up right now they're not hooked up my buddy actually welded this on the back of it himself that wasn't originally there on this truck but the bed is in great shape um the goal with this truck was, I'll show you the back too. We got this little piece of aluminum you can take out of here. And the goal with this truck is not to tow this trailer around, even though the days that we're gonna want this trailer, we can tow it around. But the main goal of this truck is to pull that trailer with the skid steer on it. You know, right now I do that with my personal Ram 1500, and it does it. It does it fine, but why put miles and wear on that transmission when I could use this thing, which the little ASV and that trailer are nothing for this thing. But the issue, the issue is CDL rules. So this vehicle's gross vehicle weight rating is 19,000 pounds. That trailer to tow the skid steer gross vehicle weight rating is 14,000 pounds. So if you know anything about CDL, you know that even pulling that trailer with this truck 
unloaded, nothing on the trailer, you're already above 26,000 pound CDL limit. I mean, it's a joke, okay? We, I think a lot of us can agree that some of the CDL rules don't make any sense because, you know, you could go out and buy a 40 foot RV and attach a 20 foot trailer to it and be an absolute road train going down the road. And because it's a recreational vehicle, you don't need a CDL. But since I use this for work, I can't tow this truck and that trailer empty. Not even close to 26,000 actual pounds. And I could get in trouble for it. So the next step is, well, I'm just tired of worrying about CDL limits and stuff like that. I'm just going to go get my CDL because that's basically the only option that I have if I want to use this truck with that trailer. I mean, yeah, you can you can do it and see how long it takes for you to get pulled over. Maybe you never get pulled over. But I can't really risk that. I don't want to I don't want a $5,000 ticket. That's not me. So I'm going to go ahead and get my CDL. There are some custom things on this truck. Like this, I'm not, my buddy actually welded this on. I mean, as you can see, I'm not too sure what he used this for. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for. I mean, I could hang extensions on it, I guess, extension cords. But on the other side, we have these hooks. And they're all up here. That would be perfect for extension. So I might just use that. My buddy was also telling me, cause I'm a fisherman, I like to fish. So this, top box here goes all the way through to the front and all the way through to the back and he is telling me that he would keep his fishing poles in here on his top one whenever you just want to fish on the job side or something so I might have to throw a rod in there not a bad idea so we loaded it out a little bit this is just truck oils and transmission fluid and stuff like that some knee pads I've already put a couple things in here my boots see over here we got some more hangers like on the other side so for now until I get my CDL we are going to use this truck to pull the enclosed trailer basically do everything that we normally do with my truck but with this one and then whenever we need the machine i'll just use my truck and pull the machine which it's not like every day we're using the machine you know we do a lot of sealing pressure cleaning paper repairs stuff of that nature we don't ever need the machine for so we will be using this the most ethan will just have to climb in and out of the driver's seat but this trailer is a mess right now and now having this truck with the utility beds, we can start taking the tools and things like that out of this trailer and just keeping in, you know, our sandbags, our concrete bags, mortar bags, and uh, just clean it all up. I mean, get all of this crap out of here. We got a lot of tools still left in here. I mean, this whole rack I can kind of put in that truck and stuff like that, so. The next week or so, we'll basically be moving everything over into here. I really want to figure out the injection problem first, though, because uh, I want this thing running tip top shape and I don't want it giving out on us. I mean, the truck's got roughly around 300,000 miles on it. But you gotta, you gotta understand, I got this truck for three grand, $3,000. So, not a bad deal in my opinion, I, that, that's for sure. So this is the new work unit. Today I'm gonna get some measurements for it, for uh, decals. We're gonna put a decal right here on the door, a decal up here on the hood, and a decal on the other door, and then maybe something along this uh, back box here. And also we're gonna do get the trailer all done up so it's a nice looking combo. And also the dump truck, I need to get the dump truck done. And then eventually I wanna get the skid steer 
wrapped in a whole Suncoast logo. So our, our colors are teal, blue, yellow, and white. So I think I'm gonna leave the yellow, yellow and change out this black here for either, yeah, I think I'm gonna change the black out for a teal and then white lettering inside of there and then make this all teal i think that would look sick i don't know it'll be it'll be fun to mess around with this thing and make it the way exactly how we want it and then i'm going to take out this screen and get a suncoast outdoor services logo put on on the back instead of the asv that'll look sick and also i got my buddy i told him we're gonna make a custom uh chrome stack pipe for this thing instead of this ugly just steel pipe just polish up a polish up a pipe so yeah that is the new the new work setup i got it running for you so you can hear that she sounds good she is straight piped good old straight pipe seven three so i'm excited man but uh, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think of the truck. They say 7.3s are million mile trucks, so I've always kind of leaned towards the 7.3 for reliability. That thing has been awesome. We fixed, we did the fuel issue, fast fuel system. This already has a fast fuel system on it. If you can get the fuel system on these older trucks figured out, it's pretty much good to go. Um, so uh yeah i appreciate you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one